What's good, guys? It is a cold Saturday, raining, freezing. It's, it's so fucking cold in this garage. I should have went and grabbed my jacket, but I didn't because we're out here. We got the Works Bell Hub. Now, if you look right here, it says Splash. I was like, oh, what the fuck is Splash? Well, Works Bell and Splash is like, you know, it's kind of like their secondary name or something like that because uh, when you type in Works Bell slash slash splash <laughs> it's a mouthful uh it's it's not like a knockoff or anything it's definitely like some kind of like sister name or something like that because it's the exact same part number it has a works bell stamp on it and uh yeah and if you're wondering why i'm not using my uh trusty tripod well it's because the adapter thingy I have actually where's it at? the pitch little screw thing that sits in here this cracked and the uh, the pitch actually fell out so like I don't think I can snap it back in unfortunately Not quite. Trying to. It's pretty much fucked. I think the only thing I could do is like, maybe try to glue it. But I think even if that, it's not gonna. I'll just have to buy another one of these basically. It's for your GoPro mount to put it on a tripod. Not really the, not really the end of the world or anything. I'm sure I can find one. Yeah, another thing I've been thinking of uh, before we unbox and start installing, what do you guys think about the stickers on the back windows, the quarter glasses? In your opinion, is it too much? Will the car look more aesthetically clean with no stickers? Is there too many stickers, you know? I'm honestly not sure. <laughs> I debate it every day. I'm like, I kind of feel like bit much but I like all the stickers on there I think maybe like I don't know like I'm, I'm 50 I'm exactly 50% 50% I'm like yeah stickers yeah a lot of stickers yeah I don't know it's like back when I just had like these zip ties ones these little peeker stickers and then the uh, unlucky ones and the dead spirits one that seemed like it was just enough like, I had stickers on the car, but, like, they're teeny, small footprint stickers. And, you know. Then you start getting, like, the ICB sticker, the Mishimoto, the fucking giant K-Tune ones that are vertical, because it's the only place I could fit them. Seems like... It's a little bit much. But, yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think, because, uh... I'm really on the fence about it. I'd like some, uh... You know, some feedback. Because, uh... I don't know. The exact same time. I mean, I got a big giant red windshield banner on this car. It's not exactly like stock, sleek, clean looking. Obviously, I mean, I think, I think the M and M banner is. Uh, I think it complements the blue with the red interior. Like I have full red interior, so like, it uh, it complements it pretty well, in my opinion. That's just my two cents, but yeah. Yeah, I think the stickers are fine. Fuck it. But yeah, let's uh... While I'm out here smoking a cigarette because I don't smoke in this car anymore. I just can't do it. Let's unbox this. Son of a gun. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this looks like, yeah, definitely a much more sturdy 
And it's not too heavy, honestly. It doesn't feel that much heavier or different than the other one. I do notice that the, uh, the bellows or whatever the hell you'd want to call this, the accordion material, whatever it is, it seems a lot smaller. Like, it seemed like, uh, the spoon one sat out to, like, here, so I had to trim down this bellows or whatever it's called to make it fit because it was hitting on the plastic pieces. Um, this one is shorter because this is actually made for a, uh, Works Bell Rap Fix 1 or 2 quick release system, which I plan on getting later down the road. So, you look right here. Definitely has a Works Bell stamp. Definitely looks really nice. Has the little uh, cutout for running your wires through and all that stuff. Horn button, shit like that. And then, looks like they give you some. Uh, fresh bolts got some fresh bolts and an allen key then oh here's where it works bell outdid spoon you guys ready for this they gave you the two SRS resistor bypass looms or whatever you want to call them and they're not female they're male poles so that's what you need to plug it in you know so that's badass. They gave you the right kind. It looks like they gave you even a new module, a new like piggyback connector with the horn button. Fucking badass. Word. And then it looks like a bunch of Japanese. And it looks like we got some kind of uh Oh whoa. Now that's badass. They included the uh the hex bit or the Torx T30. You need to uh, undo your SRS airbag uh, Torx to, you know, bolts or screws or whatever you want to call them. And then I think the rest is just like Japanese instructions. And then looks like you're, uh, they gave you the exact same orange female connector, just one of them. That's the exact same one that came with the spoon. And then the, uh, the jumper wire, but they're female. And then they gave you the horn extension loom. So, seems like they gave us everything we needed. I mean, this right here goes to show they gave you the right thing for the right car. You know? So that's badass. Very cool. So yeah, I guess let's, uh, we've unboxed, let's get to installing this shit. Okay, so step one when ever dealing with SRS, always disconnect your uh, negative terminal. Always.
should have uh I probably should have anticipated this to a little uh, somewhat to a degree but uh I don't know I don't know how to describe it and yeah my spoon wheels back on and uh like fi take my fucking wiper because like i got space over here for the uh the turn signal i ain't gonna hit the turn signal but right here dude i can't even put one finger in between that bitch true story but i don't know it's not the end of the world i mean more of a reason to get the quick release sooner i mean i was gonna get my group of intake next but that thing's i, I actually found out uh here i guess we can take the pov land off i actually found out why is it upside down for real well i guess i'll have to flip that in post boy well, hey, look at me upside down guys fucking uh I found out the group of intake, uh, I had a 25% off discount code. I might be able to still get that, but I'm not sure. Um, they they took the uh, code and it's not good anymore. So I don't know if I'll be able to get another 25% off discount code from them. If I don't, the intake's fucking $800. So I'd rather get my quick release before that then, because I mean, the quick release is like 350 bucks. And I know it's just an aesthetic piece, but at this point it's a functional piece I need now if I'm gonna run this Works Bell hub and I don't, I'm not buying another spoon hub. So, thanks for watching guys. I'm not gonna say it was a fail, but I'm definitely not gonna say it was a win, but uh, that's how you install the Works Bell hub. And now you know if you're not getting a quick release, uh, you know, or if you don't have the quick release and the quick release hub, yeah, you should probably order both of them together or get not the short the short boss hub by Works Bell. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Y'all have a good